I think it's incumbent upon me, if you'll kindly allow me to embark on a closer examination of two words, the word mark and the word sorcery. First, the word mark. The word mark in the original language of the Greek New Testament is karagma, from the root word karax. And it carries with it the idea of a stamp, tattoo, stake, or palisade. Let's talk about sorcery. The original word for sorcery is the Greek word pharmakion, where we get our English word for pharmacy and pharmaceutical, and it carries with it the idea of magic potion, even poison used in ritual witchcraft and satanic magic arts, pharmakion. Now, It's with this understanding that I think we're ready to answer the aforementioned questions concerning the rollout of this pharmaceutical vaccine. First question, will the vaccine become the mark of the beast foretold of in the book of Revelation? Answer, yes. I believe it will become the mark by virtue of the detail provided vis-a-vis the original translation in the book of Revelation. In other words, according to the book of Revelation, the mark will be a pharmaceutical tattoo with sharp palisade needles that is stamped on the forehand or forehead, delivering the poison. Wow, pastor, where'd you get that? We just read it. I'm sorry, that was kind of mean. I didn't mean to yell at you, but right? That's why we go to the Word first. I don't mean to be snarky. Maybe I do. we go first and foremost to the Word. Oh, but wait a minute, so-and-so said, I don't care what so-and-so said. It doesn't matter what so-and-so said. It only matters what did God say in His Word. Yeah, they said, now come on, that's conspiracy. I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay, okay, whatever, whatever. (laughs) There, that's... See, what happens when I take a couple weeks off? (laughs) We're going to talk about this too in 2 Timothy, second service, by the way. The paramount importance of knowing the Word of God. Listen, we do not live in a world that is forgiving. We may have used to live in this world. That world does not exist anymore. The world where it was more forgiving of not really knowing God's Word. We don't live in that world anymore. I honestly do not know how Christians are going to survive in the days days ahead not knowing the Word of God. We have to know God's Word. And the reason why, and again, we're going to, I'm preaching 2 Timothy's sermon and the prophecy update. Maybe I need to. I don't know. But here's the thing. There's these deceivers that Paul is warning Timothy about. And the reason they're able to deceive the vulnerable and the gullible is because they don't know God's Word, which is why they're so vulnerable and gullible in the first place. And these corrupt minds, these evil motives, these people worm their way in. They smell it. They can sniff it out. Easy prey, fishing out of a bucket. Is that how that goes? I don't know. Let's just say that's how it goes. All right, back to our prophecy update already in progress. Palisades. What's a palisade? I'm so glad you asked. Pictured here is a photo of a medieval palisade, which is a sharp pointed fang-like stake 
that was used as a defensive structure. That's what a palisade is, and that's what the original word in the Greek New Testament for Mark says it is. This is a screenshot from Newsbreak.com back on October 27th, in which they show this photo saying, the details from the Greek term for Mark, stamp or scratch, when considered with today's technology, reveal both the shocking accuracy of Scripture, as well as the way the coming infamous soul damning mark of the beast will be administered. Do those look like little palisades to you? How about this one? This was from Wednesday, last Wednesday, January 6th. What a day that was, by the way. BBC News publishes this article titled COVID. Swansea Uni develops world's first vaccine smart patch. The first coronavirus vaccine smart patch is being developed at a Welsh university, researchers say. The disposable device uses micro needles, palisades, to both administer the vaccine and monitor its efficacy by measuring the body's immune response. A prototype will be developed by the end of March in the hope it can be put forward for clinical trials. Listen to this. Swansea University researchers aim to make the device commercially available within three years. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing, right on schedule. What do you mean, Pastor? Oh, three years and uh, March. So let's just call it three and a half years. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Three and a half years at the midpoint of the seven year tribulation. According to Daniel 9.27, and it comports with 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, the Antichrist will set himself up in the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem and demand to be worshiped at the midpoint. I don't know, do these people like read the Bible and say, we need to have this ready in three years, three and a half years roughly. They go on, I'm still quoting. The smart patches, millimeter long micro needles made from polycarbonate or silicon will penetrate the skin to administer a vaccine. It will simultaneously measure a patient's inflammatory response to the vaccination by monitoring biomarkers in the skin. You know what that's referring to, right? And then listen to this. The device is then scanned. Oh, wait. <laughs> Scan. Forehead, forehand. Oh, kind of like it is now. You'll forgive me, but aren't you scanned when you go into some places now on your forehead? That's what I thought. Oh, it's all preparation. See, right now you can't go to that doctor's appointment unless they first scan your forehead and take your temperature. Oh, so they say. Well, <laughs> there's coming a day, apparently in three and a half years ish, heavy on the ish, where they're going to have now this technology, this biotechnology that they will scan, it will be proof of your vaccination. And if they scan you and see that, that you have the vaccination, you can enter on in, you can get on that plane, you can go into that doctor's office, you can go into that store, you can go into your work, 
but you have to be scanned first. So the device is then scanned, providing a data reading that can be used to understand the efficacy of the vaccine and the body's response to it. That's why I believe it will be come, keyword, the mark of the beast, 